The national signing period has begun, and it's official. Stacey Poole is a wildcat, becoming the U.K. basketball team's only signee to this point. Poole, who's 6'5", 200 pounds, is a four-star wing from Jacksonville, Florida. His specialty? Driving to the basket. Rivals has him ranked 27th, while Scout has him ranked 58th overall in the class of 2010. The final day of the signing period is November 18th. The U.K. women's basketball team signed five players today, including LCA standout Sarah Beth Barnett. Barnett actually committed to Kentucky back when she was a sophomore, so this day really was a long time coming. I've always been a Wildcat fan, and I knew I wanted to go there as soon as Coach Matthew Mitchell and his staff took over. Um, I can't wait to be a part of it, and it's really a blessing, and I just can't wait. J.T. Riddle from Western Hills signed with the U.K. baseball team. Riddle holds single-season records at Western Hills for batting average and hits. He's ready to bring his game to Kentucky. It's just it's a great feeling. I can't get over how great it feels to be a Kentucky Wildcat now. And I'm just looking forward to the day I get up there and actually get to start playing with everybody. Mike Hartline had some swelling in his knee, but practiced again today and looked good, according to Rich Brooks. A decision on if he'll play this Saturday will be made at some point in the next few days. A concern for the coaching staff coming into this week if the presence of Hartline would hurt Morgan Newton's confidence. But that's not the case. Newton is preparing like he's not only going to play, he's preparing like he is going to start. I think um, you know my approach this week hasn't changed very much. Just continue to try to get better, and that's what I have to do. Being so young, just try to try to continue to get better. So um, having Mike around helps a lot because he can help me get better. He's talking different. He's walking different. Um, you know, he, he, he's commanding, respecting the huddle, commanding the huddle. Um, and even with Mike coming back, he hadn't seen any difference in his body language. Henry Clay avenged one of its regular season losses last Friday by knocking off Lafayette in the playoffs. The Generals could not contain the Blue Devils' Jerry Williams, which is why he is our high school highlight reel star of the week. Has he been perfect this year? No. Henry Clay QB Jerry Williams was less than perfect in a loss to Lafayette in the regular season. He also struggled in the Blue Devils' other loss this season to Clark County, both of which came in the rain. The rain, I don't really know. It's kind of been like a little curse to us, but we've been waiting to play in the rain actually to prove that we actually can. Weather was not a factor when Williams helped lead Henry Clay to a 47-10 first-round playoff win and a rematch against Lafayette. There's been glimpses of brilliance. There's no question about it. Last Friday was one of those times. Williams completed 12 of 14 passes for 296 yards and six touchdowns. He, he had a great game. He was on. He was hot. When Jerry Williams is on, Henry Clay is hard to beat. But the Blue Devils have a big test in the second round of the playoffs against city rival Bryan Station. Oh, gosh. What a second round draw that is, huh? I mean, we just jumped out of the frying pan into the fire, it looks like. The Devils and Defenders' heated rivalry is personal for William. Ah, uh, yes, sir. I've been playing against my cousin, Chaz Mitchell. And uh, we've always got that bad time rivalry like this weekend. We both talked a little smack. Williams helped Henry Clay handle Brian Station in the regular season. The worst thing we can do is think about what the score was last time we played them. And so I'm, I'm going to tell you what. We're not letting him do that. But if Williams can duplicate his last performance, Henry Clay could be moving on in the playoffs. I'm glad he's on our team. I'm glad we don't have to defend him. At Henry Clay High School, Dan Reef for ABC 36 Sports. Thank you, Dan, and be sure to vote for our High School Highlight Reel Game of the Week. To do so, just log on to our website at WTVQ.com. Warriors Pacers, Tubby Smith once said this about Kalena Azabuki. Looks like Tarzan plays like Jay. Not tonight, Coach. Great move by Azabuki for the bucket. Kalena had 10 points in the loss, but he does have our Jack Kane 4 play of the day.